In this video, we will continue with the binomial theorem. You will find this on page 88 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Find in ascending powers of a the first three terms in the expansion of this 2 minus a over 4 to the power of 10. Okay, now just remember your formula. So the first term is 10, 0, the second 10, 1, 10, 2, and that is, uh, let's see, this is first, second, and third, only three terms. And then you take the first term, this is the first term, and it's 10 minus 0, and the second term you just take 0. And then you take the first term, 10 minus 1, it's 9, and the second term is just 1. And then you continue, 10 minus 2 is 8, and the second one is just 2. And then you work it out. Okay, now if you work it out, just calculate it and you get your first three terms. Now, usually, if they say hinge, it means A must help you. Obtain the coefficients of A squared in the expansion of this. Now, we did it um, previously, but without using the formula. So, I write that because that's just to the power 1. And then I write that three terms. They, they let you work out three terms because you only need three terms to come to the a squared term. Okay. And then you think, what will you multiply to get a squared? Okay, so one, I will multiply with a squared. If it's a, I will multiply with another a. And if it's a squared, I will multiply with the constant. And you just multiply that once. And then you just simplify by adding up your coefficients. And the coefficient of a squared is this. Not so difficult. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Find in ascending powers of y the first four terms in. Okay, this is now four terms. Let's just write it down first. So it's 2 plus y squared over 4. And that's to the power of 8. Okay, now let's start. The first term will be, let's just get that bracket correct, 8, 0. Then I will take the first one, and it's 8 minus, so it's up to 8. And I take the second one, and it's 0. Okay. So plus, then the second term is 8, 1, and I take the first term, and it's 8 minus 1, 7, and the second term, and it's 1. Okay, I'm going to write the other two here. So then it will be 8, 2, the first term, I subtract 6, the second term, Okay, and then 8, 3, the first term, I subtract, and the second term, it's 2, 3. Okay, now I'm just going to write the results here. Okay, so uh, 8, 0, that will press otherwise 8, NCR, 0, and that's just 1, okay? 2 to the power of 6 is 64. Oh, no, it's not 2 to the power of 6. Sorry. Sorry. I'm looking here. I must look here. Okay, so it's 2 to the power of 8. So it's 2, 5, 6. And this is just 1 because it's to the power of 0. Plus... Then 8, 1, so 8, NCR, 1, and that's 8. And then 2 to the power 7, and that's 1 to 8. And now it is y squared over 4 plus, okay, then it's 8, NCR, 2, and it's 20, uh, 28. 2 to the power is that 64. And now it will just be y to the power of 4 
and 4 times 4 will be 16. And then the next one, 8 free, so 8 NCR free, it's 56. Okay, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Oh, and this was y to the power of 2 times 3 is 6, and 4 to the power of 3 is 64. Oh, this is good. So it's 256, okay, plus then 8 times 128, so 128 times 8, it's 1024, okay, 256, and, and then don't forget, forget to divide it by that 4, so it's 256, y squared, and again, multiply, but remember this is over 1, so divide it by that. So it's 28 times 64 equals, divide 16 equals, and it's 112. And it's y4. The next one is 56 multiplied 32 equals, divide 64 equals, and it's 28 y to the power of 6. Okay, there is the first four terms. That was A. Let's look at number B. Then she obtained the coefficient of y to the power of 4 in the expansion of this. Okay, so first write it down. So it's 2 minus 3 over y squared. 2 plus y squared over 4. Okay, just take note that this is this. And that is the reason why you worked out that four terms. So basically, you're just going to now just rewrite this one and write your first four terms. Y4 and the fourth one 28y to the power of 6. Okay, let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, you can make the three dots. It's going on. Now, just be careful. They said it's y to the power of 4. Now, every time I multiply it, I must, I must think where will I get y to the power of 4. But because I'm having a division there, so don't keep that in mind. Okay, but let's start with the first one. Uh, if I multiply it with the y, let's just make arrows. If I multiply it there, that, that will be the only times it's y to the power of 4. And then, now don't forget, uh, on top, to get a 4, it must be a 6. Okay, so what, what will I, I will multiply with that one, with the 6 one. Okay, so let's just multiply first that 2. I just want to see if I get another one there. Okay, so basically, I start and I multiply. This is basically just that two. So I multiply and I get 112 multiply 2. That's easy. It's 224. And that's y4. Okay, and now this one is going to be negative. Okay, just look, it's going to be 3, okay, uh, can I put it over 1, and then you're going to see it better. So it's 3 times 28, so it's 84, and I, I'm, I know I'm making an extra step, but I just want you to see what I was meaning. Okay, so basically, if you did that, then, and I know as I said that I was doing that extra step, just for explanation, because 6 minus 2 is then 4. So it's 84y to the power of 4. And then I just subtract 224 minus 84, and I get 140y to the power of 4. But answer the question. Hence, obtain the coefficient. So let's just go. Therefore... 
the coefficient is one okay you can say i think i said it like this the coefficient of one four zero y four is one forty okay and that is your final answer